Hey, so this is a continuation of this uh, simple WinForms calculator app that we created a couple videos back. And uh, one of the one of the features we tried to add in the last iteration of uh, this tutorial was to give our calculator the same kind of functionality that the Windows calculator has, where you don't have to simply click uh, buttons. You don't have to use the mouse. Essentially, you could type three plus eight. Um, and get the result. And what you, what we saw in that last video, and what we're still running into because I haven't modified the code yet, is that when we press Enter, you'll notice that because the button seven has focus, Enter doesn't actually give me the answer of three plus eight. It actually submits another, uh, basically, click event to the button that has focus. Um, so you would, you would think that this would be kind of an easy thing to fix, um, and, it, and it is, frankly, but uh, it's not as intuitive as you might hope. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, uh, while it applies to what we've been working on with the calculator application we've been building, um, this may actually also answer questions for someone who's just looking for a workaround behind um, modifying uh, the focus of buttons that are native um, to the button class. Um, now, that is, I guess, uh, it's not I guess it is, it is a viable alternative would be to override the button class itself and you can modify the way that the button behaves by doing that. That's a little more involved than what we're doing here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a workaround, uh, an alternative to uh, rewriting the button class that you can use without a lot of code, a lot of, without a lot of extra code uh, to make this work how we want it to work so that when the user presses 5 plus 5 and hits enter, um, we'll get the result there basically instead of submitting whatever button has the focus. So let's jump right in. Um, the first thing we want to do, uh, there's a property for every button called tab stop. And basically, uh, you know, what you can imagine is, uh, you know, right now you'll see when we launch the application, the seven button has the blue square around it, meaning it has focus. If we press tab, much like many Windows applications, right, we will cycle through the components that we added onto our form. Um, so what we want to do first things first is we want to disable tab stop for all of our buttons. So this is going to take a second, but we'll just uh, just bear with me. You'll notice again, if you select the button um, and you come to the tab stop property, you can simply double click. You can use a drop down list uh, or whatever. But we basically want for all these buttons, we want to set this to false. OK, so bear with me one moment while I do this. This is the exciting part of the video. Okay, one more. Now I think I, sh I hit all the buttons and I should have uh, basically set the tab stop to false for every single button on our uh, wind form here. Now, if I run this, you'll notice a couple things that have happened, right? First things you'll notice is that there is no button with the blue outline around it, meaning there is no button that has focus at the moment. So if I do five plus five and press enter, nothing happens, right? Previously, seven was selected. And when I pressed enter, I would submit a seven, uh, much like I had typed on it. Um, now, the reason that enter doesn't work is because we haven't added any sort of uh, handler for the event button should it be pressed. And we'll do that in a moment. But what I want to show you is you would think that that would be it, right? We have tab stop turned off. And once we have uh, some piece of code that handles when the key that's pressed is enter, that we would be done, right? Well, that gets us there, or halfway there, I should say. If, uh, if the user never clicks anywhere on any of these buttons, um, our problem is solved. Meaning once we have the event handler for enter, everything works as intended. But as soon as the user types a button or presses a button, you'll notice that once again, that button has focus. And so now if I press enter, uh, you know, it's going to, it's going to work the way that it, it's, it's going to be broken still, essentially. Um, we're going to have the same results that we had previously. So changing the tab stop only gets us halfway there. So let's go on. And uh, here's where it kind of gets a little shifty, right? Here's where the workaround kind of comes in. Now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to add another piece uh, or, or uh, control onto the WinForm. And we're going to basically, every time we click a button, uh, we're going to pass 
the focus to that particular control and remove it from the button itself. And then because we don't have any event handlers uh, dealing with this particular control that we're going to add, it's not going to do anything. And so we'll leave it up to um, the event handler for the form that we've added already so that we can detect when the enter button is pressed. So this is, uh, it's again, it seems uh, counterintuitive. It should be easier than this, I agree. Um, but for now, uh, we'll just do it this way as a quick and dirty workaround. So what I've done is I just basically dropped a label onto the wind form, right? Right now it's sitting on top of um, my text box. It's called label two. That's fine um, because we're really not going to use this for anything that special other than just absorbing focus. Um, so let's go and we want to add that. So the first thing we want to do is close our VPN. Um, the first thing we want to do is let's go back into our button click method. Now, if you recall, every single button on our form here um, the event handler for the click is called button click. So if we go into our button click, essentially what we want to do is every time this event gets fired, um, we want to, when we're done processing the event, is we want to set the focus to our label that we just added to something else. So I'm going to say label to dot focus. Okay. And if we just look at this in, in terms of how it works, just with this very minor change, um, I know that the, the label is still there. I can see it. We're gonna we're gonna take care of that in a second. But I just want to show you how this is working. If I type six plus three, that works as we intended, right? And before, if I clicked seven, if you recall, seven would still be uh, still have the focus. But because of that line of text we just added, as soon as we click seven and we add seven and we process all of these pieces of code that are inside of our button handler, um, we then pass the focus to label two. And if we press enter now, you'll notice that we don't get any more sevens added to our, our line there. So that's kind of the, the functionality that we're looking for. Now we don't need to see label two. So let's go ahead and go back into our form and we can just move this guy all the way to the back, right? And he'll be behind this uh, text box. So we'll never even know he's there. Um, and the user will never see it. It'll never interfere with anything. Now, the one other piece that we need to add is we need to add an event handler uh, for the enter button when the enter button is pressed. So if we come back down here, if you recall, we have uh, our key press event that's associated with our form. So it's going to it's going to get fired anytime um, a key is pressed while the form, um, while nothing else has focus, maybe that, that's the best way to say it. Um, so let's add a couple, uh, a couple other case statements here. So we're again, we're looking for when the case is equal. Um, and maybe we'll do it for the space as well. So equal.performClick should take care of that. So what this will do is if the space button is pressed, um, it will fire, it will basically simulate or emulate that a, the equal button is pressed. Now, if we want to capture when the return button or the enter button is pressed, we're going to use the escape character, which is a, uh, I guess that's a backslash, um, and R for return. So, and then we're going to do the same perform click Q U A O. And then we'll break again. Good. Oops, need a colon there. Okay, so now we have uh, basically three different buttons. The equal button, if that gets pressed, will obviously submit. Um, press, it'd be the equivalent of pressing the equal button, the space bar, and then the return button. And now when we run this, we should see the results that we're looking for. So if I do five plus five and press enter, we get 10. If I do 10 times two and press the space bar, we get 20. If I do 20 divided by five and press the equal button, we get four. So you'll see just by basically removing focus from the button to some other arbitrary control that, that doesn't have any functionality associated with it, um, we can kind of achieve the desired result here. Um, and just to confirm that this is all working well, um, I guess I need to uh, um, make sure that with the control or with the clear and the clear entry, we also change the focus after we're done. But you'll notice that with a seven or eight or nine or any of these buttons um, that had that same event, um, everything's working like we want it to. So let's go ahead and, and just for posterity, let's go ahead and take this piece of code and let's add it to the event handler for this button as well, which is button 18. So we'll do that. And button 17, we'll do that. 
and now you'll notice even if we click this it still doesn't retain the focus right I guess we need to do it for all the operators and the equal button as well so let's just add that as well we'll just put it at the end of the method that should handle all of the operators and then the equal uh, we already have it looks like because that's operator click as well all right so that should take care of it and we should be able to cool uh, the equal button still retaining focus it may not be such a bad thing but let's uh, let's make sure button 16 click is right here and let's add that to the end cool Okay, so that should do it. That should basically allow you to use the keyboard to press enter and submit um, values even if the user continues to click um, as well. All right, so there it is. Uh, a nice little workaround for, um, you know, basically allowing buttons or, or removing focus from buttons so that you can basically control the functionality a little bit nicer. Hope this helps. Good luck uh, trying to get your app to do the same. Take care.